Hi guys, it's Shimmy. So it's that time again for Explorations of Me 2017. So um, the prompt for this month is what is your first three pet peeves and why? What can you do to get past them? So I was thinking about this. Wow. And um, I, yeah, a lot of my pet peeves I kind of let go, but there are three that really are pet peeves of mine. One is dishes. Um, when I get up in the morning and they're in the sink, dirty dishes, even though I wash the dishes every night and still somehow there is dirty dishes in the sink. So that drives me crazy when I wake up in the morning. Another one would probably be poor customer service, um, which I think is just crazy. I mean, I worked in customer service and it drives me crazy when you have a rude associate or like, you know, or a, someone when you go to the doctor's office or especially when they're being rude to other people or older people, it really makes me mad. So that's definitely a pet peeve. And I think the third one <laughs> has to do with when I worked at the hospital. Um, another thing that is a pet peeve is that I'll go to the bathroom sometimes in public and people will not wash their hands and that drives me crazy or they don't make sure their kids wash their hands because it's just a simple thing that helps to stop the spread of infection. So that drives me crazy. So those are my three pet peeves. I have my piece of white card stock here. I have no idea how I'm going to like illustrate these. Um, so I'm going to go have a think and we'll see what I come up with. But I'd love to hear what your three top pet peeves are and um, how you're going to get past them. So I will think of an idea, hopefully come back, start creating a page and I'll come back at the end and tell you um, what I did. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. See you. I'm up, I can't sleep tonight I'm too busy trying to figure out How to make tomorrow right and It's too soon to celebrate Guess I'm doing better than before But still I got a long way And just maybe one day maybe We'll be there daily. at the top Stay Like the 4th of July, July. We'll go big Surprise. Trying to figure out how to make my dreams become reality That's what I chase Every day I'm older than the last And I don't have the time to waste so just maybe one day Smart and nerdy on. I gotta get my reach the sky on. Get my always try on. I gotta get my hit the gym on. Get my single swim on. I gotta get it. 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 I gotta get my don't complain on. Gotta get my win this game on. I gotta get my don't sit still on. Get my pay these bills on. I gotta get my Jasper saw you on. Don't say my name. Say your own. I gotta get it. 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 
So I really love the way that it turned out. It says count to 10, which I think is pretty darn important for me. I will probably outline the lack better. And I just had to switch to white paint because um, this pen um, smudges, but the ink runs really nice. So I'm just going to spray it with a spray sailor just to protect the page. I used just a piece of painted paper that I really loved the colors. It had lots of stenciling and that kind of thing. And I never really do writing so I thought this would be a good way to do writing. I do think that I need some type of like something there. So I'm trying to think of what I could use. Like a maybe like a what am I thinking? Like a something. Like a I don't know. <laughs> maybe like a star sticker or something like that. But it looks cool. I like it. And I just, when my pet peeves are kind of getting on my nerves, I think that I'm just going to count to 10. <laughs> Especially for the lack of hand washing, because that's a personal decision. And the dirty dishes, I just need to wash them. The bad service, um, I will probably report them in the end to the corporate office. I mean, that's just what I'm going to do. But um, I can just count to 10 and just take a deep breath and then handle it calmly. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> and if you wanted to, if I had left enough room, we could have created a really cool border. I always think of tons of stuff that I can add to these pages, of course, afterwards. Let's see. Now I wonder. I think, this, I think this pen is finally gone. I'm trying to scribble and everything, so I think I can toss it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I think that's it, guys. I think that might be all that I'm going to do. Um, I will maybe, because I think maybe it would be cool to create a border. So maybe I'll just doodle one in really quick. And I'd love to hear what you guys' pet peeves are. And sometimes um, when I'm using like a black pen. I have to go over it a few times if it's not really juicy, the ink. Um, that's just kind of how it is. Of course, I don't know what happened to the one that I was using. That one was really nice and juicy. But it seemed to have to go by the... Let's see here. Dude, I had a whole pack of them. Don't you hate when you do that? Crazy girl. Crazy, crazy. But I am. I'm just going to like doodle the, the um, maybe a little bit on the side. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger as I go along. And I'll we'll add like one here. And then maybe I'll add one like um, down here too. Something. And that'll give it a little bit of interest. And then over here too.
kind of make this more of a hot five. Looks good when things are odd. Okay. And then um, I do have these little stickers that are kind of stars. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add those too. See, I didn't even know that I was going to add more to this page. That kind of looks like a bullet is what I'm thinking. Like when you do bullets, I don't know if I can get this anywhere near, but I can. Oh, that'll work, I think. I think so. So it's little stars. And I, yeah. yeah. So I think that's it guys. That's all I'm going to do. And I can really do it quicker with paint. Maybe I'll just do that really quick. Alrighty. And this is a little bit unorthodox for me, but <laughs> yeah, what can you do? I just think that it needed a border. So I'm just going to take just a small brush and quickly, very quickly add it in. But you could absolutely use a marker and that would work well too. And this is um, a little watered down because my brush was wet, but that's okay. We'll work through it. And then if you wanted to, you could further doodle on top of the black, which might be cool. Cool. We can do this one. You see the paint now doesn't have so much water in it, so it's Blend it a little bit better, which means that I'm getting that nice crisp black image that I like. You see, sometimes a paintbrush is faster, <laughs> especially when you practice with them and try to make as much as I can with a paintbrush. I think it really pushes your skills a little bit. So I hope you guys are doing the prompts. Um, this is a wonderful kind of way to explore yourself, to see kind of the things that we don't think about, like our pet peeves or weird things about us and that kind of thing. So um, I will put a playlist below of um, kind of all the prompts that I've done so far. And um, you can check that out and hopefully be inspired because that's what it's all about, right? It's being inspired. Okay, so that is actually good, and I can keep, you know, adding more coats if I need it, but I really like that. I think that's really cool, okay? And I like that kind of pop of a border. I probably should have put this one down a little bit more. That way it won't be totally even, but I really like how this turned out. It's really cool. Okay, guys, so that is it, I promise. <laughs> Okay, and I hope you check this out. Again, the prompt is three pet peeves and what you can do um, to help you with them, to help you solve them, to help you let them go, that kind of thing. Um, so I can't wait to see your response. And if you make this page, I would love to see what you come up with. Okay. And I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Make sure you check out the links below um, for the other videos so you can get ins inspiration from them too. Thank you. Bye-bye.